So we're about to take a look around a Sea Lion F43. Uh, Bellini uh, was built in 2003, uh, powered by a pair of Volvo TAMD 75s, which would give you 480 horsepower. These were about the biggest engine options available. Um, late, the last sort of six boats that came out did come out with Volvo D6s, and this one being a 2003, she was towards the end of production, uh, which did finish in 2006. Uh, started in 1998. Before the F43 uh, came the Sea Line 390 and the Sea Line, uh, then naturally the Sea Line 410. Now, um, these particular boats were completely revolutionary at the time. Um, nobody else made anything quite the same as what Sea Line did. Uh, you know, everyone else was either aft cabin or flybridge. Sea Line kind of made this flybridge aft cabin hybrid. Uh, so what they did, uh, they've got a big aft cabin in the uh, uh, beneath the cockpit floor. Uh, so, but the, the, the aft cabin itself has got a lower ceiling than you would come to expect from your brooms or your Hanes of this world. Uh, it still works incredibly well. You've still got a separate toilet and separate shower, and you've still got that uh, lovely big flybridge and still then a uh, nice spacious cockpit. So a very clever boat. Um, and Sea Line have always liked to do things a bit differently. They've always maximised the space in terms of their accommodation and this model, um, starting with the 390, finishing with the F43, uh, certainly was no different. Let's take a look around the outside and then go into the cockpit. So you can see here we've got decent side decks. We have got good access uh, onto the boat as well. This is one of the improvements actually that the, the sea line made with the F43. It's extended this bathing platform the 390 a little bit short on the bathing platform and this certainly makes the difference but what I quite like is you can see it's all uh, stepped as well so uh, depending on different states of the tide you can get good access onto your boat and then into your cockpit um, deck wise good side decks easy enough to get up and get round and you've got grab rails all around the boat as well This, this uh, uh, Bellini here, she benefits from having a binimi cover as well as the Flybridge tonneau. So in the summer months, um, can give you that little bit extra shade. Tidy boat. Let's see, they all need a polish uh, in December, as when we are taking this video. Um, so yeah, she could do the compound and polish, but certainly um, oh, I've seen a lot worse not bad at all. Right, let's take a look in the cockpit. So before we get in the cockpit, I just want to point out we have got this passerelle here as well. So a hydraulic passerelle uh, with a stand-up uh, handrail. And we've got dinghy chocks on the bathing platform as well. All finished nicely in teak. Right, so those of you familiar with Sea Line know that they uh, use utilize every bit of storage that they possibly can, and uh, you've probably seen these clamshell covers as well. So this is for the canopies. So the rear section of the canopies here, these three sections, uh, can be all rolled up and then tucked up into this um, sort of clamshell up here. Uh, so canopy uh, dealing with your canopies in the sunny day, uh, Sea Line have thought that through. The two side these two side ones, they don't go into the um, clam cover, but can be rolled up and, um, they, you know, they just rolled up on these straps and then held up out of the way. So we've got a freestanding table. When that's not in use, then there is storage up here. Uh, we'll take that, uh, that table. And we've got some recently fitted cockpit upholstery. Nice space, the cockpit, comfortable. You can certainly get sort of, well, probably six, seven people around here. And again, a feature I quite like, one that we do see more and more on uh, sea lines and more modern boats. We've got steps up to the flybridge as opposed to a ladder. And here we go, 
Um, nice big flybridge, you can see. Uh, we've got this uh, L-shaped seating, double helm seat. And then behind me, a nice big sun pad. Right, let's take a look in the cabin. So the first thing you notice stepping into the saloon of the F43 is the space. Um, it's bright, it's light, you've got seating to both uh, port and starboard, um, beautifully finished in leather. Often I find with um, flybridge boats, when you've got the, a large helms position like you have here, they, they can, can feel a bit enclosed, but I don't get any of that sense in this boat at all. Uh, so there's just big windows everywhere. I mean, okay, yes, it is a sunny day, but hopefully this video is showing you quite how much light is coming in through everything. Uh, finishing here is very good. Uh, the leather upholstery all looks to be in excellent condition. Carpets all look fairly recent as well. And the wood finish is good. Again, this is um, one of the changes with the later boats um, uh, is the wood finish. So um, you might see an earlier Sea Line 410 or 390 with a different finish. Uh, this sort of cherry, uh, cherry finish is very, very pleasant. So some of the spec on the boat, we've got a big spec on this. We've got bow thruster, stern thruster, air conditioning, generator, heating, some sort of Bose sound system we've got on the go here as well. Um, possibly some uh, related to the TV, I would think, judging by all the speakers everywhere. Um, so the spec on it, she's very, very good. Obviously, remember, she's got the larger engine options as well. All important. Oh, I expected a fridge, but we've got an ice maker. Even better. Let's take a look at the helm position. So because we've got the 75s, we have got the upgraded uh, Volvo um, uh, EDC controls, so the electronic controls. Again, a big, big plus in my book. I do like those. Um, I think they do make... Uh, you know, they're, well, they're just simple, very effortless. So we have got Raymarine chart plotters, radar, and then your standard depth and speed, and uh, also an autopilot. Um, Eagle Eye amongst you might have noticed we've got the bow and stern thruster down here, at, at remote down here as well. Can't really show you what the visibility is like because we've got. Uh, it's a colder, cold, it might be sunny, but it's still chilly, so we've got a bit of condensation on the uh, outside of the screens. But I can tell you, it's definitely a comfortable seat for two. So moving forward, oh, before I do that, we have got a modern, upgraded, uh, updated, beg your pardon, uh, Raymarine VHF. So moving forward to port, we've got the galley. Um, built-in microwave but we have also got gas oven and three ring hob as well large fridge like well, this has been updated as well an isotherm fridge this wouldn't have been original not sure when it was fitted but certainly uh, that has been fitted in the last few years storage isn't bad got uh, decent under uh, counter storage and then some above counter as well um, yeah, I've got some sort of clever shelving unit in, in here as well. So uh, they thought about it, cut redraws, that sort of thing, you know. I actually know that's for pans, beg your pardon. But what I do really like about this model is when we look over to starboard. Now, Sea Line offered uh, a three cabin version of this boat, uh, which, so they were in a cabin here rather than a dinette. Now, the cabin worked incredibly well. You had a couple of, um, uh, you know, uh, bunks in there. So it did work and, it, you know, it's very useful for uh, those with the family. But this dinette drops down and creates another double bed. Um, so I think this is probably, I would argue, this is the more popular uh, option uh, because, it, you know, if you were just, if the two couples on board or even a family of four with four kids, you've still got that space. Um, you can still shut this area off. I mean, it hasn't got a curtain, but you could easily fit a curtain. Uh, but when it's not in use as a bed, great. You know, dinette's very helpful, uh, especially if you have got a couple of kids, um, you know, somewhere that they, they can be separate from the rest of the family or, you know, they can have their own little den. Would work very well. Again, this has all been finished in uh, leather. Um, and we've also got this very nice teak and holly floor. 
that looks to be in good condition. Let's take a quick look under there. A bit of fading here, but certainly it's not bad. It did a couple of marks, but overall that's not bad. I remember she's 2003, so she's 20 years old. Let me just remind you of that. 20 years old, this boat, and she's in very good condition. Okay, let's take a look in the forward cabin. So forward cabin, we've got an offset double in here. Uh, good hanging storage. That's nice cabin, this. It's obviously smaller than the aft cabin, which is going to be the master cabin. But, you know, I've got floor space. I've got room to move around. I've got ensuite access. Um, and in this, uh, well, I call it the, the day head, really, because you've got the uh, main door here as well, out um, into uh, the main cabin and the saloon and galley. Um, you've got electric toilet uh, and shower. Full standing headroom. I mean, six foot two, six foot three plus. So yeah, nice space. And although it's only a, it's an offset double, it's a decent length. And there's plenty of storage, crikey. All these lockers. We've got storage under here. There's like this uh, vanity unit, storage underneath the berth as well. Very good. Yep, nice second cabin, that one. Okay, let's take a walk down to the aft cabin. Excuse the noise, the radio's just come on. That's better, just turn the radio off. Right, so this is where Sea Lion got a bit clever. So you can see just here, there's your cockpit sole. And there's the headroom above the bed. I've still got good headroom around here. You know, about six foot headroom round the berth. And then under the berth, there's enough headroom to be in bed comfortably. I am sitting up, excuse the socks. And I'm nowhere near the ceiling. But that's very comfortable. Nice size bed, berth. And you can see we've got um, loads and loads of storage. You've got locker storage here. We've got drawer storage at the end of the bed. We've got a big hanging, hanging locker set up here as well. And we've got a separate toilet to port. Again, electric toilet. Headroom in here is a bit less, probably, I don't know, five, seven. Um, but yeah, the toilet is perfectly workable. And then we have got the shower over at to starboard. So you've got your own separate shower cubicle. Bit more headroom in there. You know, I can stand up easily. So, you know, six foot plus headroom in here. But a very nice cabin. And I said, as I said earlier, clever. You know, they've maximised the space, still made the boat feel like a, traditional flybridge boat, but then managed to put this cabin in here. Well, okay, yes, it's not as uh, big and uh, easy to get round as a Broom 42, for example, but it's not trying to be a Broom 42. Um, it's a lot less money than the Broom 42 as well. Um, so if you are, as a family, thinking, yeah, we've, we're have we looking to go a bit further afield, there's, um, you know, uh, uh, mum, dad, couple of kids, needs a bit more space, something like this could be a very, very good option. You might be considering an aft cabin boat, but hadn't thought about Flybridge because of space. Well, Bellini here, she could be the answer uh, to what you're looking for. A clean, tidy boat in good condition, good specs we mentioned before, she's 2003. It's got the biggest engine option at 480 horse, uh, Volvo uh, TMD 75s. We've got a generator, we've got air conditioning, we've got heating, we've got bow thrusters, stern thrusters, chart plotters, radars, uh, passerelle, leather upholstery. What more could you want? Full details are on our website, www.mya.co.uk. Thanks for watching.